I've just learned how to throw cards. And there's a guy on YouTube called Rick Smith Jr. He throws cards at 90 miles per hour. You can break cans with them. So I thought I'd start small, try to throw some cards into this sort of polystyrene Semtex stuff. But if I can manage to actually throw cards into an apple and then eventually slice things with it, I'm gonna take it a step further. I'm gonna try and break a television with it. Stay tuned. Okay, so did, did that just happen? I stood a bit closer and just went for it, and that's the result. So in this video, I wanted to see if I could actually throw playing cards with power. I've just managed to get it in the apple. I'm gonna try some celery. I'm not very confident in my ability to actually throw the card powerfully enough to actually achieve this, but I'm gonna try, and if not, I do have another plan up my sleeve, but <laughs> it may be considered cheating. I work in a sheet metal factory, and a couple of my friends actually made me a replica metal throwing card. And I don't know how well you can see it. This is it here. Corners are very sharp. So I'm gonna throw this at the TV, and see if that will break it. There's a replica card that's made of metal, so chances are it will actually work. Let's try it. Yes! Well, it worked, and uh, I don't think it's broken enough, so I actually want to try and break it a little bit more than that. No exaggeration, but we've got to walk probably about half a mile and up some horrible stairs to drop this TV. I don't know if it's going to get round this corner. Is that what I've got left? I'll tell you what, right? That's a workout. As you can see, this is the drop. A proper old bridge. So the plan is, right, I'm going to hang the television off the bridge cut the support, the chain reaction will be the television dropping to the floor and I'll be using one of those metal playing cards that I showed you earlier. Let's see how much of a crash this TV will make. We've got to clean up, we've only got one world, let's look after it. You can actually find the dents from the metal card. One there, one there and the scratches from the cards. I had to cheat and use metal ones, but hey. Anyway, bit of a rattle. Oven glove. That sound weird, but the camera Hannah's holding now, I put that in there. Little hack, don't have the money for the case. I do have money for the case, I just can't find a case anywhere is what I mean. But you literally slot your camera in there, bish bosh bash, got yourself a sleeve. So this TV, it's utterly destroyed. The whole thing opens up. The screen's cracked, as we found out earlier. Look at it. The stairs that you saw at the beginning of the video. Yeah, go down first if you like. I am not looking forward to going down this. Hold on. So we're back at the spot where I was actually throwing cards initially at the TV. So it's all plugged in, everything's, go everything's good. That is a new accessory, that little damaged bit there. I think that was probably from down the steps, but let's flip this on, see if it works. Hopefully it don't get zapped. I heard some, let's have a look at the light. Anything? It's completely loose anyway. Let's see. No life, no life whatsoever. It is truly done. Hey guys, thanks for seeing the video. If you like what you saw, please give it a good thumbs up, give it a like, maybe subscribe if you're feeling that generous for some more wacky ideas. I'm gonna be uploading in the next couple of days, so yeah, great, see ya.